dear students today i want to discuss cosat 2019 physics question paper kochin university lekulla btech admission event nadathuna cat entrance exam inde physics question paper discuss cheyunadinodappam അതിൻ്റെ വളരെ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ചില ഇൻഫർമേഷൻസും ഒന്ന് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചുകൊള്ളൂ സി ഏറ്റവും പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ബിടെക് ഷിപ്പ് ബിൽഡിംഗ് നേവൽ ആർക്കിടെക്ചർ അങ്ങനെ ഏറ്റവും സുപ്രധാനമായിട്ടുള്ള ചില സ്പെസിഫിക് കോഴ്സസ് നമ്മുടെ കൊച്ചിൻ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയിലുണ്ട് എന്നുള്ള കാര്യത്തെ ഓർക്കുക ഈ വെബ്സൈറ്റിലാണ് അതിൻ്റെ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസും കൗൺസിലിംഗ് സൗകര്യങ്ങളും എല്ലാം ഒരുക്കിയിരിക്കുന്നത് കുസാറ്റ് ഡോട്ട് എ സി ഡോട്ട് എൻ രണ്ട് പേർപ്പസായിട്ടാണ് ഓൺലൈൻ വഴിയായിരിക്കും പരീക്ഷകൾ നടത്തുക ടോട്ടൽ ടു ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആണ് പരീക്ഷയ്ക്ക് ഉണ്ടാകുക രണ്ട് പേപ്പേഴ്സായിട്ട് ത്രീ അവർ ഈച്ച് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സിന് വൺ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസും ഫിസിക്സ് സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസും കെമിസ്ട്രി ഫിഫ്റ്റി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസും ആയിരിക്കും ചോദിക്കുക സോ നമ്മൾ ഇന്ന് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ ഫിസിക്സിലെ സെവൻറ്റി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആണ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ദി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് സോ ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫ്രം ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി സിക്സ് ഓൺ വേർഡ്സ് സോ ടിൽ ടു ഹൺഡ്രഡ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ വെയ്റ്റ് ഈസി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഫോർ ദിസ് ഇയർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ സി ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ the average translational kinetic energy of oxygen molecules at a particular temperature is 0.048 electron volt the translational kinetic energy of nitrogen molecules at the same temperature is so that is the first question so the law of equipartition of energy nammal nisikkapetta nu varade law of uh, equipartition partition of energy so there it is said the energy associated with the, the energy associated with the, per degrees of freedom per molecule per degrees of freedom per molecule that is given as is equal to half k that is a very important concept and there k is nothing but equal to boltzmann's constant and that boltzmann constant the take the one leave as you know it is 1.38 in the 10 right to minus 23 that much to joules per kelvin and so we can say that that is proportional to the temperature but in that case that diatomic molecules both are diatomic they are maintained that the same temperature so that it should got the same value of energy so 0.048 electron volt so we can got the answer as b number 127 arrange the following electromagnetic radiation per quantum in the order of increasing energy increasing energy in the sense the first element should go to the minimum energy to one got the higher energy that is very important so keep in mind a simple arrangement if we are arranging the whole electromagnetic wave in the increase order of wavelength or decreasing wavelength of energy or decreasing order of frequency you can use a simple shortcut gatz wimmer we can just Maximer. So G for the gamma, X-rays, ultraviolet, visible, infrared, microwaves and radio. This I and A are silent. So this is the increasing order of wavelength or decreasing order. So it must be in this order uh, for the question. That is a very important concept. So the first element goes to the radio. So the fourth one. and then it is uh, visible good that is one and then yes it comes as x rays so that is the third one and then the second one this is the order so we can say uh, 127 as a d as the answer so 
this is the very important uh, shortcut keep in mind so d is the answer 427 428 see here and keep in mind the nucleus as a neon neon 1022 decays into two alpha particles and an unknown nucleus that unknown nucleus is so we can just write the relation so it breaks uh, it breaks into decays into yes two alpha particles so it is given it decays into two alpha particles so that is nothing equal to 2HE24 plus an unknown nucleus. Okay, fine. But here it is a 10 in uh, atomic number. So here it is a 4. So remaining it should be 6. And here it is 8. So 22 minus 8. So 22 minus 8. So it, be, it must be 14. So that element should be what? So that is a very important one. Carbon. So we can call the answer as B. So simple item number 129. Which of the following cannot be accelerated in a cyclotron? So Sadharana Rubatil Namal consider J Mbra Valare low mass low mass charged particles, electrons, and also the neutral particles. Magnetic force the magnetic force it must be with a charge value. So here it is, neutrons are there, they are not uh, cannot be accelerated because of a neutral honor, there is no charge for that. So 129, we can call the answer as a D. And see, we can go to the 130 question. For a paramagnetic material, the dependence of the magnetic susceptibility on the absolute temperature T. So if you just analyze uh, for uh, dia, para, and ferromagnetic materials, we uh, draw the gap between the susceptibility for the temperature. And keep in mind, for a diamagnetic material, it is a constant. It is independent of the temperature. But for paramagnetic, it must goes on decreasing. And for ferromagnetic, there is no variation till a particular temperature, critical temperature, we can say. After that, it goes on increasing again. So for both the para and ferro, there are decreases with the temperature. So here, we can call the good answer as a B as the choice, that chi is equal to C by T. So it is inversely proportional to the temperature. Number 131, the unit of power of a lens. And keep in mind that converging or diverging ability of an optical instrument that is called the power of a lens. So that is expressed in 1 by F. That is the reciprocal of focal length in meter. Centimeter we can write as 100 by F in centimeter. The normal unit is in meter minus one, or uh, we can say it is in a helicopter. So that is the case for the lens. For a mirror, for a spherical mirror, that is an important concept. So the power take the formula as minus one by f in meter, or equal to minus 100 by f in centimeter. Why there minus sign coming? For a concave mirror, the concave mirror in the sense we, are, we can call it as the converge mirror the converging mirror in the sense that, that should got what uh, it should be positive power we know the focal length for the concave mirror is negative so negative negative become positive so that is the concept why there is a negative sign for the and keep in mind so these are the very important concepts so here we can say the d is the answer 431 see we can uh, move to the 132 the momentum of an X-ray photon, so that is given as, as P is equal to uh, 
and see the momentum is given as so the momentum that is mv or mdc so that is given as what 3 into 10 raise minus 23 kilogram meter per second the energy of the photon namukariyam the energy is nothing but mc square so we can just multiply with p into c good so that uh, p is what 3 into 10 raise to minus 23 into 3 into 10 raise to 8 so that is answer so we can say that 9 into 10 raise to minus 15 joules that is nothing but the energy of the photon so we can code the 132 as a as the answer number 33 to convert a galvanometer and a meter one should connect so our aim is to convert the galvanometer into so we know we have to connect the ammeter in series with the circuit. It never disturb the circuit and hence it should be a low resistance device. That is a very important concept. Other cherry resistance device. But low resistance device are the material and ideal situation is Namuka Parendi where the resistance of ammeter and the so, if this, uh, this is a uh, represent the galvanometer, yes, in order to convert into a law resistance, a law resistance value that is uh, connected in parallel, and that is what is called the shunt resistance. Suppose the total current I is flowing through it, and this is the value of galvanometer current for full deflection. Then the current through the shunt resistance, we can say that I minus I into G. But it's a parallel network. And hence the potential across the galvanometer should be equal to the shunt. That is IG into the galvanometer resistance should got the value of I minus IG into S. Valare prana pata relation ana namukha tensor nam matte formula ke namukha convert yam. But here, in order to convert the galvanometer into a meter, a low resistance we have to connect in parallel with the galvanometer. So that is a very important one. So we get the answer as a C. That is the answer. But at the same time, suppose we need to convert the galvanometer into voltmeter. So there we have to connect. Uh, that uh, that is a very important. So we have to connect. That a carbon meter with a high resistance value. So that is a very important one in series. aspects. We can move to the next question. See, the wavelength of blue light that is in water is about. So we have to find what is the wavelength of the blue light in water in a medium. So we know it can be related to the air by lambda value by its uh, refractive index. So that is, uh, we can write as lambda by mu. So lambda zero by mu. So that is the very important concept. So the lambda zero in air, it's given as 420, that much in nanometer, that division by 1.33. So if you just dividing, so we get the values that is equal to 315 that much in nanometer. So simple concept. See the question number 135. The root mean square speed of the molecules of an enclosed gas is V. What will be the root mean square speed if the pressure is doubled and the temperature remaining the same? That is very important. So we know that RMS uh, speed we can write as got the value is equal to root of 3RT, that division by the capital M. So keep in mind uh, the very important concept here, the temperature remains the same. So the temperature remains the same means the velocity remains the same. So we can call the answer as B. Number 136. Which one of the following forms the virtual and erect image for all positions of the object. If you just consider the concave mirror, 
നമ്മളൊരു കോൺകേവ് മിറർ കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ ഫോക്കസ് ആൻഡ് ദ പോൾ ഇഫ് ദ ഓബ്ജെക്ട് ഈസ് ദേ സോ വി ക്യാൻ ഗീവ് ദറ്റ് ഡയറക്റ്റ് ഇമേജ് പക്ഷേ ബാക്കി എല്ലായിടത്തും നമുക്ക് റിയൽ ആൻഡ് ഇൻവേർട്ടഡ് ഇമേജസ് ആണ് ഉണ്ട് സോ സോ ദ കോൺകേവ് മിറർ ഈസ് നോട്ട് ഇൻ ഓപ്ഷൻ നമ്മൾ കോൺവെക്സ് ലെൻസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പ്ലെയിനോ കോൺവെക്സ് ലെൻസ് നമ്മൾ രണ്ടും കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യുമ്പോഴും കോൺകേവ് മിററിൻ്റെ അതേ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ആണ് നമുക്ക് കിട്ടുക ബട്ട് വി ആർ യൂസിംഗ് ദ റിയർ വ്യൂ മിറർ ഓഫ് വെഹിക്കിൾസ് ദാറ്റ് കോൺവെക്സ് മിറർ ലൈക്ക് വൈസ് നമുക്ക് കോൺകേവ് ലെൻസ് അവിടെയും നമുക്ക് എറക്ട് ആൻഡ് വെർച്വൽ ഇമേജസ് പക്ഷേ സ്മോൾ ഇമേജസ് ആയിരിക്കും ഉണ്ടാവുക സോ വി ക്യാൻ കോഡ് ദ ആൻസർ ആസ് ബി ബി എസ് ഇ ആൻസർ അപ്പോൾ ബി കോൺകേവ് ലെൻസിൻ്റെ കേസിൽ നമുക്ക് കോൺവെക്സ് മിററും നമുക്ക് ഓൾ പൊസിഷൻസിലും വെർച്വൽ ആൻഡ് അട്രാക്റ്റ് ഇമേജ് ഉണ്ടാകുന്നു എന്നുള്ള എക്സാമ്പിളായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യാം സോ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് ബി എസ് ദി ആൻസർ നമ്പർ തേർട്ടി സെവൻ ഇഫ് ദ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ടു മാസസ് ഈസ് ഡബിൾഡ് ദ ഗ്രാവിറ്റേഷണൽ അട്രാക്ഷൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ സി ദ ഗ്രാവിറ്റേഷൻ ന്യൂട്ടൺസ് ലോ ഓഫ് ഗ്രാവിറ്റേഷൻ യുനോ ജി ഇൻ ടു എം എം ടു ഡിവിഷൻ ബൈ ആർ സ്ക്വയർ അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ രണ്ടാമത്തെ കേസിൽ പറയുന്നത് ദ സിമിലർ മാസസ് ബട്ട് ദ സെപ്പറേഷൻ ദ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദം ഈസ് ഡബിൾഡ് സോ ഇറ്റംസ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് എസ് വൺ ബൈ ഫോർ എഫ് സോ റെഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ടു എ കോർട്ടർ സോ ബി എസ് ദി ആൻസർ നമ്പർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് തേർട്ടി ഐറ്റ് എ പീസ് ഓഫ് കോപ്പർ ആൻഡ് അനദർ ജർമേനിയം കൊപ്പ സോ കൊപ്പ എ മെറ്റ വൺ ആൻഡ് അനദർ ഓഫ് ജർമേനിയം ദ ജർമേനിയം വി നോ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ സെമി കണ്ടക്ടർ are cooled from a, a room temperature to 80 kelvin so that is the temperature is this so the resistance of each of them so nammada adhyam nammada manasil varanda valare pradhana petta concept ennu parayunnathu zero equal to n e square valare pradhana petta aspect so temperature umayitte engane namukku connect cheya but temperature increment nadathuna samayathanengile oru metal thalam the very important parameter is the relaxation time that is goes on decreasing so the resistivity and hence the resistance goes on increasing but the semiconductor varumbulu avada predominant aayittulla factor ennu parayunnathu number density ennan appo temperature kooduna samayathe covalent bond break cheynathu vali n koodunathu konde resistivity koraynu adu konde resistance koraynu pashi ivada situation nere tirichana കാരണം കൂളിംഗ് എഫക്റ്റ് ഉണ്ടാക്കുക അപ്പോൾ കൂളിംഗ് എഫക്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ ഈ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് നേരെ വേറെ വിപരീതമായിട്ട് വരുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ദ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ കോപ്പർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് യെസ് ഡിക്രീസസ് ആൻഡ് ജർമേനിയം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇൻക്രീസസ് ആൻഡ് ഹെൻസ് വി കെറ്റ് ദ ആൻസർ എസ് ഡി ചോയ്സ് സോ നമ്പർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് തേർട്ടി നയൻ വെൻ ലിദിയം സെവൻ ന്യൂക്ലിയ ആർ ബംബാർഡഡ് ബൈ പ്രോട്ടോൺസ് ദ റിസൾട്ട് ആൻഡ് ന്യൂക്ലിയ ഈസ് ബെർലിയൻ the emitted protons uh, particles will be the emitted particles will be z the very important concept so we can formulate one relation so lithium that is a 37 that is bombarded with the protons say it's 11 so giving beryllium 48 so already uh, so the conservation of that uh, particle here yes everything is okay and hence there should be no charged aayittulla allengile no mass ulla particle aayirikanam ennalla kaaryathil sheshyam illa and hence we can say that comma so a as the answer simple aayittulla question number 114 let i j be the unit vector along x y directions the magnitude of uh, so keep in mind we know suppose that there is a vector quantity that is given as uh, x i Uh, plus yj plus izk then how we can find its magnitude so simply so that is nothing but equal to root of x square plus y square plus z square appo ivide namukku thannirikkunna value ennu parayunnathu that vector a is equal to i plus j the unit vector got the magnitude coefficient as 1 1 so the value take the value is equal to root of 
1 square plus 1 square. So that is equal to root 2. So we can quote the answer as D. Number 141. A particle has a maximum range of 100 meter. So it is given the normal is the range is nothing but u square sin 2 theta division by g. But the range becomes maximum that will happen when theta is equal to 45 degree. So that is equal to u square sin 90 that is 1 that di division by g. Neglecting air resistance, what is the maximum height attained by it? concept maximum height sin square theta division by 2g atta nammal padichirikkune appo in the trajectory nammal ippa parnjirikkuna trajectory ile maximum height ennu parayumbol angle etra thanne vannu 40 degree aanu so that is equal to u square by 2g into sin 45 1 by root 2 square it become 1 by 2 so that is equal to u square division by 4g what is u square by g so that is nothing but the range there. So that is R by 4. So what is the range here? It is 100. That division by 4. So that is equal to 25 meter. So other shortcut. So what is the range here? It is 100. That division by 4. So that is equal to 25 meter. So what is the range here? It is 100. That is the range here. It is 100. The frequency of the charged particle circulating at right angles to a uniform magnetic field does not depend upon. Now, we move the magnetic field to a charged particle in a field. That is a circular motion. There should be a magnetic center petal force needed. So we can say that this is mr omega square. So that is given as so. Yeah, simply we can say that uh, m is square by m. So that is given as a q v b sine theta. Theta is ninety here. So one v one v cancel. So m by r into v can be substituted as omega. That is q into b. So r r cancel. So we need to find the equation for uh, frequency. We can write as uh, omega as uh, two pi f. So the frequency take the value as a QB division by 2 pi m. The frequency of a circular motion, the, the frequency of the cyclotron, okay, everything that depends not on the speed of the particle, it depends upon its charge, its magnetic field, mass, etc. So aspect So we can say that is it is independent of the speed of the particle. Number 143. The following four gases are uh, at the same temperature. In which gas do the molecules have the maximum root mean square speed? So we know the equation, the root mean square value. That is nothing but is equal to 3RT division by M. That is a very important relation. So V R mass is uh, inversely proportional to root of the molecular mass. The molecular mass, the bo a the body can occur all other RMS could the lyrium. So no doubt at all, D is the answer. We can move to the next question, number 144. The following column, the one list. Some physical quantities and the column 2 gives the approximate energy values. They choose the appropriate value of energies as per the choices. The first one, the thermal uh, energy of the thermal neutrons. So that is of the order of 0 0.025 electron volt. So the one that is a corresponds to uh, D choice. And the second one, the binding energy per nuclei. And already you know it is of the order of 8 mil uh, mega electron volt. So that is a second, that is a 4C. The energy of x rays, you know, h into uh, nu c by lambda, we can find the energy. So, uh, if we know the wavelength range of x rays, so we can uh, measure it. And uh, for x rays, it is of the range from point uh, um, maybe 124 electron volt to uh, roughly uh, 124 electron volt. That is normal range for uh, x rays. So here we can code the answer as B choice. 
and then for third one the photoelectric threshold of a metal for sadharana cases le oru sodium ok consider cheyina samayath we can say it is 2.75 electron volt so we can for fourth one that is for a so we can exactly got the answer as a so good concepts so we can uh, move to the 145 the unit of momentum is so here it is in is in relation with the newton so we can say the simply the newton circle law as uh, uh, p dp by dp by dt so the momentum got the relation so it the unit of force into time so that is equal to newton second so we can say b as the answer 445 then the ratio of electrostatic force and to the gravitational force between a proton and an electron appo namaku simple aayitt aa karyam onnu orka oru protonu electron thammilulla electrostatic force ennu parayumbol coulomb's force ennu parayunnathu namaku ariyam 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 that is 9 into 10 raised to 9 into yes the charge of electron and proton they are equal so we can write as 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 that much square division by say one specific distance as r square then the gravitational force between them that is the value of g into the mass of electron mass of proton that division by r square so that is equal to g as we know as 6.67 it turn rise to minus yes minus 11 meter into what is the mass of electron the mass of electron is what that is simply as a 9.11 into 10 raised to minus 31 into the mass of proton as 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 27 that division by r square if you just take the ratio f e by f g we get approximately as 2.4 into 10 raised to 39 ee power valare important aayittulla oru karyam aanu adodappa keep in mind the gravitational force is said to be the weakest force in the nature അത് വളരെ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒരു കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ആണ് സോ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടി സിക്സ് വി കൻ കോട്ട് ദ ആൻസർ അസ് എ നമ്പർ വൺ ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ ദ ചാർജ് കാരിയേഴ്സ് ഇൻ എൻ എലക്ട്രോലൈറ്റ് ആർ സോ സാധാരണ രൂപത്തിൽ എലക്ട്രോലൈറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ സപ്പോസ് വി ആർ ഹൈ എച്ച് സി എൽ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ് ഡിവൈഡഡ് ഇൻ ടു എച്ച് പ്ലസ് പ്ലസ് സി എൽ മൈനസ് സോ ബോത്ത് ആർ റെസ്പോൺസിബിൾ ഫോർ ചാർജ് കാരിയിങ് ആൻഡ് ഹെൻസ് വി കൻ സേ വൺ ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ ആസ് സിംപ്ലി സി എസ് ദി ആൻസർ we can move to the 148 a good question a spherical black body with a radius of uh, 12 cm so it is given as r is equal to 12 cm it radiates a power that is given as a 450 watt at a temperature that is 500 kelvin if the radius were halved and the temperature doubled so the radius uh, that is a new radius is uh, r by 2 and uh, the temperature that t2 is uh, doubled then what is the power uh, that is we need to find it so namaku avade nammade valare pradhana pada stefan's law namaku upayogikkam for a black body the stefan's law so the amount of energy that is uh, per unit time per unit area so that is given as a sigma into t raised to 4 so namaku energy by time that is the power take the value as a into sigma into t raised to 4 so namaku rendu situation la namaku engane ezhudam as a p2 by p1 take the value as a2 t2 raised to 4 by a1 uh, and t1 raised to 4 that is a very important concept so namaku ariyam area ennu parayunnathu radius umayitte spherical body aayidu konde namaku ariyam 4 by r square aanu so we can say that r2 by r1 that much is square into t2 by t1 that is the whole raise to 4 so p to t p to by p1 so p to take the value equal to what is r2 by r1 it is given that r2 is nothing but r by 2 so we can say that as 1 by 2 square the t2 is a double the value so 2 raised to 4 that much into p p1 so you get the value equal 1 by 4 into 2 raised to 4 so 16 good that much into 450 so 4 into 450 you get the answer as a 1800 that much what so 
uh, we can code the answer as a C. So this law is important, but keep in mind it is not energy. It is energy per unit time per unit area. That is given by the Stefan's constant into T raised to 4. It is a good concept. Number 149. The ratio of resolving power of an optical microscope for two wavelength. So, we have a microscope. We have a resolving limit. So, resolving limit to take the formula as 1.22 lambda division by 2 mu sin theta. Well, then 2 mu sin theta, that is what is called the aperture of the objective lens. So, we have a aspect. So, we have objective to collect the liquid in the refractive index. We have to make the theta in the lens. We have to make the half cone angle in the concept. But the resolving limit we consider the resolving power is the reciprocal of the resolving limit. That is a 2 mu sin theta, that is a division by 1.22 lambda. That means that the resolving power is inversely proportional to the wavelength. For the two cases, we can say that as 1 by 2 is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1. So it is nothing but is equal to 6000 Armstrong, that is a division by as a 4000 Armstrong. So that is equal to 3 by 2. So we can call the answer as B. About resolving a limit in the Rent objects in air and diet can and itra minimum separation. So that is the resolving limit. For a telescope, it is expressed in terms of an angle by the simple relation as a lambda division by A. So we can quote the last question for the video. The centripetal acceleration required for a particle to move on a circle of radius R with a speed. So keep in mind that is acting along the radius towards the center and got the value as v square division by r or r omega square or equal to omega into v and with vector form we can write the equation as omega cross v concept so here the answer take the value as a so dear students in the video Subscribe and Marakarede, Nagata Kutgaruk, Itono Sherji and Kutasamikia. So we can wait easy questions for Kusa Tantan's examination um, and the try to do uh, more conceptual analysis with each chapter. God bless you. Take care.